Hello, my friends. How are you? I've been working on a new collection of big pastel drawings and continue setting up my new studio space. I hope soon I can give you a tour of my other studio. For now, it's pretty messy. I want to share with you my secret weapon for creative block today: ego. First, let me tell you the story of a painter. Recently, I saw an exposition of the French painter Eugène Lehoy in the Modern Art Museum of Paris. To be honest, I didn't really like it. His style is between abstraction and figuration. He would work on the same painting for years until the total disappearance of the original subject. So in the end, it's layers and layers of thick oil paint glued all together on the canvas. From a certain distance, we can vaguely tell the silhouette of a human face or still life. But once you get closer, the subject disappears completely, leaving only a ragged and aggressive texture of paint. As a young artist, I already find studio quality acrylic paint quite expensive. I'm thinking how expensive it must be to use so much oil paint on a single painting. What do you think? Do you know this painter? Do you like his style? Please leave me a comment telling me your opinions. His life experience as an artist is really interesting, though. When he was 18 years old, he suffered from pleurisy, resulting in sharp chest pain when breathing. Painting was his hope. He said making art kept him alive. He went to art school in his 20s. After only a short period of time, he stopped art school and worked as a Latin and Greek teacher. On parallel, he kept painting. Since his income doesn't really come from selling paintings, financially he has absolute freedom to paint whatever he liked and however he wanted. During a very long time, he kept most of his paintings in secret, didn't make any expositions. In his 60s, his son opened an art gallery in Paris, and he was exhibited regularly in this gallery. He was quite successful in the end of his life. In 1996, he received the Grand National Prize of Painting in France. His life story makes me think: What gives him the courage and the faith to keep painting in a style that very few people appreciated in the beginning of his career? Personally, I'm not fond of his works, but I do feel inspired by his determination, persistence, and patience as an artist. In life, there are times we want to do things that seem so risky, too strange, or too abnormal. In doubt and fear, some people just give up before even trying. Some people will try it, but give up eventually. And some people will be so confident in what they're doing, they will persevere. Regardless of other people's opinions, but have you ever met people who think so highly of themselves, never realizing they don't live up to their own hype? It's so embarrassing being around them. You don't want to be rude by telling them the truth, but you also don't want to feed their delusions. Sometimes I'm wondering, am I that person? Will my persistence on doing what I think meaningful and important leads to an embarrassment and humiliation? What if any time someone says something nice, it's because they don't want to hurt my feelings? As the writer Grace Dow said, the remedy to all this paralyzing doubt is a healthy dose of ego. Artists need egos. We need to think we're special. It's an important part of making that initial leap, the belief that I'm good enough to do this. Being a full-time artist means you don't have a stable financial and moral support in the beginning, until after you have works that prove your artistic vision. This also applies for other creatives, such as writers, illustrators, filmmakers. If you know an artist, please show them a bit of support. If you don't like their works, don't pretend that you do. But if you see someone brave enough to share their works, don't be part of what's tearing them down. If you are a creative person, do hold on to your ego. As long as you are not in blind arrogance, it can really help you during moments of doubts. 
persevere in your hard works, take initiatives, and take pride in what you do. Before seeking validations of others, learn to value your art by yourself. Thank you for listening, my friends. If you like this video, please give me a like and consider to subscribe. It will help others to find this channel and help me to make more content. Have a nice day and see you next time.